Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's recipe as it's the most delicious Italian main dish. Porchetta stuffed with cheese and mortadella. Cheese and baby potatoes. The juiciest stuffed pork belly with crisp crackling skin and tender meat served with luscious baby potatoes. The perfect centerpiece for your feast. So let's begin. I love this recipe because we're taking the most cheap meat, the pork belly, and we transform it into something delicious. First of all, I want the parchment. And I have a lovely piece of pork belly here, as you can see, with the skin on. And I want to open it a little bit to create more surface to stuff the pork belly. So take the pork belly, skin side down, and Cut in the center. Be careful, don't cut the skin because we want the skin on. So open it a little bit as you can see. And I opening the pork belly like a butterfly, this way. On the other side, the same way. Take your knife, you don't have to be a butcher to do that. Easy. Now, let's score a little bit the meat here to make sure that the stuffing will go everywhere and actually give the flavor from the inside to the meat. And pepper. We love pepper. If you want to make it uh, spicy, you can add some chili flakes, some chilies, some sriracha, whatever you want. And salt, of course. And we need good amount of salt. We need at least 10 grams of salt here. We have to make sure that the salt is there because if we don't season now the meat, then it's impossible to season it after we cook it. Now, a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit, because the pork belly is quite fatty, but uh, the olive oil will help actually to melt the fat that the pork belly has. So, it's time to uh, add the rest of the ingredients. I have some lovely mustard here. You can add a nice English mustard to make it a little bit more spicy and spread the mustard everywhere. If you make something like that, everybody will think that you have the most expensive dish on the table and actually you will have the most cheap meat on the table, but you will transform it into something delicious. Now, I have some sage here. Do you like sage, Lakis? Sage is a very good friend with pork. Sage is Fascomilo. You know Fascomilo? I want more herbs sometime and some rosemary. So if you don't want to add some sage, you can add more herbs like rosemary and of course thyme. My oven is ready. So thyme in, rosemary in, sage in, and it's time for the cheese. In this recipe, we want a nice sweet cheese like clear cheese. We don't want to be very salty. We want actually to take all the sweetness from the cheese and the meltiness of the cheese. So please add a great cheese. It's lovely for this recipe. And I have this lovely thing that it's called, like is mortadella. It's a very classic Italian cold cut. And this is exactly what I want for my recipe. Now, it's time for what? To close again our envelope of pork belly here. And oh la la. And now we have to make sure that the stuffing will stay in. Actually, this way it will stay in because we close it uh, the best way inside. But I will give some string here to make it more sexy, to make it more roast, because we are making a roast. So always you want something fancy, and uh, the string is not only for presentation, actually uh, it's holding the meat inside the oven, because when we put the meat inside the oven, the meat starts to transforming. So the string is there and saying to the meat, please stay there, keep your shape, because actually if you keep your shape, you will cook evenly inside the oven and you will become very tender and very sexy. Now, I will carry on wrapping this bad boy. Finito, this way, this way, 
And as you can see, I cut the stink perfectly and it's time to bake this bad boy. So I will help a little bit the pork with some olive oil. If we want our meat to become crisp inside the oven, we have to add a little bit of olive oil on top. And of course, salt and pepper. If you want to score the skin, you can do it, but we want to make an easy recipe. Till now, it's very easy. It's only five minute recipe. So take some aluminum foil, put the parchment on top, wrap it, make a nice candy with a pork belly inside. Make sure that it's fully covered. And now it's time to cook it. My oven is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius set to fan. And always when we're cooking a meat like this, we need a rack because if we don't put a rack, then it will overcook underneath our meat and it's something that we don't want. So please put the meat on top of, of a rack this way and cook it with the, the aluminum foil and the parchment for about three to three and a half hours. Then uncover and let it to become crispy, sexy, and uh, very, very, very nice colored. For about 30, 40 minutes more uh, until it's ready. So in total, for sure, more than four hours, four to four and a half hours, and it will be ready. Now, inside the oven. And when our meat is Almost ready, we will start preparing our potatoes because we want a nice carp to serve with our lovely meat. My meat is almost ready and it's time to prepare our potatoes. I have these perfect baby potatoes. They are boiled and it's time to make them sexy. It's not hard to do that. We need just a little bit of olive oil, of course. Extra virgin, extra Greek and four to five tablespoons of olive oil should be enough. And I will add a little bit of garlic inside to make sure that the oil will start to become very, very tasty and aromatic. And I will take my potatoes and I will break them a little bit with my hands, this way. Potatoes goes in because this way they will take all this flavor to the inside. Just to know potatoes are one of the best carbs you can add in your diet. If we don't deep fry them and we just saute with a little bit of oil, they are perfect. And this is something we want, a nice carb to serve with our meat. And now salt and pepper. And I will make it very simple, very Greek, very Italian, very Mediterranean. I will add some herbs, garlic, olive oil, and that's it. So pepper goes in, salt goes in. I love oregano. And this is lovely Greek oregano, very aromatic. Oh my God, lovely. And amazing. Make it nice, crispy, sexy. A little bit of paprika, smoked paprika. And this is it. With a little bit of spices, just paprika and some herbs, a little bit of oregano and of course garlic you can have the most lovely, heavenly potatoes ever. Look at this. My potatoes are ready. And I have this platter here. I will add my potatoes. Easy, one minute recipe. It's time to take out bad boy from the oven. Oh my God, look at this. Amazing. Amazing, like this? What do you think? No. And as you can see, the most of the fat is underneath the rack on the tray. We don't want so much fat in our diet. The excess fat goes out and it's time to slice this lovely meat. I will take off the string. When you take the meat off the oven, the skin will be still uh, soft 
But in a while, it will become crispy in the way you want it. Look at this, it's just melting, falling apart. Oh my God, lovely. And this is exactly what we want. Tender meat in the inside. Oh my God. It literally melts in your mouth. Mm. And the skin. And let's cut it. Look how it is from the inside. Look at this. It's too sexy to handle it. Look at this. Oh my God. I will keep this for me. It's hard to describe because it is so tasty. It's not very fatty because most of the fat gone inside the oven. It is so tender, so sexy, so crispy, so amazing, and everybody can do it. I hope you like the recipe. I hope you try the recipe, and I hope to see you next time. See you, bye bye.